Hello friends, welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer. Take a sip of life. Dear Lord, help me to be open to you for this time as I put aside the cares of this world. Fill my thoughts with your peace, your love. Psalm 93, 1-4 in the NLT. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial. You yourself are from the everlasting past. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breakers on the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. This book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, this story has captured my heart ever since I heard it read aloud by my mother, our school's teacher librarian, in our weekly library class. If you haven't yet met Aslan, the only character to appear in all seven books in the series, The Chronicles of Narnia, then you should read this. I chose this particular cover of the book so you'd be sure to notice that Aslan is a lion. The lion is one of the most widely recognized animal symbols in human culture. It has been extensively depicted in sculptures and paintings on national flags and in contemporary films and literature. The lion has been used as a symbol of strength and nobility in cultures across Europe, Asia and Africa for thousands of years. The best way to introduce you to Aslan and thereby give you a glimpse of what Jesus is like is to share this brief conversation between young Susan, a girl, and Mr. Beaver. In Narnia, people are not the only ones who talk. Aslan is a lion, the lion, the great lion. Ooh, said Susan, I thought he was a man. Is he quite safe? I shall feel rather nervous about meeting a lion. Safe, said Mr. Beaver. Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. We may be nervous about coming to God, and rightly so because of his boundless strength, which is mightier than anything we could ever encounter or imagine. But remember, he's not only strong, he's also good. Come to God and rest in his strength for you today. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.